for the last 24 hours, British tourists have been essentially fleeing from their hotels. Um, and they've been moving from hotel to hotel because the planes are getting closer and closer. So they've been evacuated from one hotel, then they've been moved on to another hotel, then they've been moved on to a third hotel. There are stories all very, very similar within this terminal building here of British tourists who have essentially had to find their way here on their own without any help from any of the tour operators whatsoever. Um, it, it, it's been horrific for, for all of them. A lot of them have got very, very small children and they've had to struggle. I spoke to one woman earlier, a mother, who had a six-year-old and a four-year-old with her and they were evacuated from their hotel. They could see the planes in the background. They were put onto the back of an army truck. They were driven 10 minutes down the road and then they were dumped to the side of the road and had to walk five kilometers through the dark. Um, and the young child, the, the six-year-old, turned, um, turned to her mum and said, mummy, am I going to die? And, and, and I think that really encapsulates what's happening here. Families have come away on a holiday, sunshine break, temperatures are, are high, uh, and, it, and it really has, has turned into an absolute nightmare. Uh, it's been, uh, someone described it to me as, as like hell on earth. This is the departure terminal at the airport, uh, and, and it, it's, it's heaving. It's heaving with people who are sleeping on the floor, they're sleeping on bits of cardboard, on blankets, um, anything they can find. These people, they're exhausted. I mean, they are absolutely shattered. They've tried to try and get some information and some answers from TUI, from Jet2, from their tour operators, and they've heard silence. They've had to do it all themselves. And so they're, they're here, they're angry, they're tired, and they have absolutely no idea when they're going to get home. And um, they're waiting to find out when they'll be on flights, if they'll be on flights. Um, and they're just waiting for news to come through. But like I say, they, they're hearing very little from their tour operators, which is, is causing a huge amount of resentment and anger. Um, you know, they've spent thousands on these holidays and they've been left high and dry. The wildfires, they're not under control. They are inching ever closer to um, newer hotels. So more hotels are being evacuated. More people are coming to the airport. So these, these numbers that you see behind me, they're only going to grow in the days ahead with temperatures due to go even higher than they are at the moment. And at the moment, it's about 36 degrees here. It's extremely hot. But what you have on the other hand is that there are hundreds of other holidaymakers being flown in to Rhodes to start their holidays. So not only have you got the people fighting to get home behind me, you've got the people who are coming and are being checked into hotels as the planes are visible in the background. It's, it's just an extraordinary sight.